In this presentation, we will discuss understanding the entity and environment. When we want to get an understanding of the industry and environment, we are... First, a word from our sponsor. Well, actually, these are just items that we picked from the YouTube Shopping Affiliate Program, but that's actually good for you because these aren't things that were just given to us from some large corporation which we don't even use in exchange for us selling them to you. These are things that we actually researched, purchased, and used ourselves. Ugg slippers. I usually walk around my home in just my socks, but I wanted a high quality pair of slippers that didn't have a heel on them so I can slip them on easily give me a little bit more warmth than just my socks provide and which has a sole on them so I can deal with messes in the home such as spilled liquid or broken glass without getting my socks wet or my feet cut up and the Ugg slippers do a great job with that. I like the quality of the slippers. They feel like they're going to last a long time. They will probably outlast me so I recommend the Ugg slippers. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com where we have many different courses. You can purchase one at a time or have a subscription model giving you access to all the courses. Courses which are well organized have other resources like Excel files and PDF files to download and no commercials. Considering factors that include nature of the entity, industry regulatory and external factors, internal control, objectives, strategies, and business risks, and entity performance measures. Auditor will obtain information to understand the nature of the entity. So what type of information are we going to get? We're going to gather this information to understand the nature of the entity. We want to gather information related to business operations, ownership and governance structures, investments and investment activities, uh, financing and financing activities, and financial reporting. So we're going to gather information related to these areas. We're going to go into a few of these areas in more detail, starting with the business operations. Business operations, the type of things that we're going to gather in order to understand the entity includes revenue sources, products and services. So what obviously do they do for revenue sources? What products and services do they have? That's going to be a primary important type of activity when we're trying to understand the nature of the business conduct and operations. We want to know who their alliances are, joint ventures, if they have any joint ventures, outsourcing of activities. Do they outsource some of their activities? Are they key activities? Are they very important? How dependent are they to people like joint ventures? alliances and other people involved because that'll assess some of our risk factors with regards to them then we have the product facility locations obviously where are they located how many facilities do they have uh, where do you pr produce these products where are they located at warehouse and offices locations so we also want to understand where the offices are where the inventory is stored where the office locations are at where's the admin d uh, done business done are there any key customers who are your key customers? If they're in a type of industry where we have some very large customers, we want to make sure that we understand that because larger customers or consolidation uh, of larger customers could be a concern because then we want to make sure that they're solid because if they're not, that could be a problem. Key suppliers is the same thing. Do we have large suppliers? I mean, as a lot of the stuff that we sell coming from a particular supplier, if so, the company is obviously very dependent on that supplier and that's going to be a significant factor to consider when considering the environment and risk related to it. Investment and investment activities. So we're going to understand the entity with regards to investment and investment activities, asking questions or looking into factors including uh, recent or planned acquisitions or divestitures. So what type of, of type of investments or divestitures might be planned? or made of course we're looking for usually substantial material type of items investments and dispositions of securities and loans uh, capital investment activities as well as investments in partnership and joint ventures again of course we're typically looking for the larger scale type of items here when we're considering the business as a whole considering material type of factors financing and financing activities so we're trying to understand this business 
What kind of financing do they have in order to help them generate or, or push forward with their operations? What kind of financing activities do they do? So we want to know if there's any subsidiaries and associated entities. So do they have any associated type of entities related to them uh, that, that could be involved in their financing structure? Debt structure. So what kind of debt structure do they have? And we're going to want to know the leasing uh, arrangements, if any. Related parties. Again, related parties can be a significant uh, factor with regard to financing and financing activities. Use of derivative financial instruments. Are they using derivative financial instruments? To, uh, because, of course, that can add to some complexity with that type of, of instrumentation that we may need. Actually, some specialization in order to fully understand that type. The auditor must identify and understand the entity's objectives. Uh, strategies and use to achieve those objectives and uh, business risk associated with those objectives and strategies. So you'll note as we get this understanding of the business, as we go through these factors and understand them better, this is the overarching objective we're looking into. What is the entity's objective? Obviously, revenue generation, we would I suppose, would be part of the objective. But what's their, what's their strategy for this objective? Strategies used to achieve the objective what are they putting in place in order to get to that particular goal? We need to have an understanding of that so we know the nature of the business and therefore can better audit it. And then we want to know the business risk associated with those objectives and strategies. So what are the risks of the objectives in and of themselves, the industry, where they're at, and the risks of the strategies that they are implementing? Are they implementing strategies that are more or less risky as they try to achieve certain types of objectives? All these can be factors for helping us to assess what type of testing we need to do within the audit engagement.